Hello and welcome to the penultimate Mini Beano for 2019 MV16. Another return to Hereford. I know. But what can you do? Anyway, pre festive, pre election, and pre cold weather. Four o'clock, Friday the 29th of November. I'm nearly ready to go. And I can't wait. I'm whispering because it's night. And I'm back. Sometimes it's nice to tailgate lorries, especially when you go cross country. So, there's a bit of mist. I think there's been a bit of rain. I don't know if you can see it's sparkling slightly. There's a bit of ice. It's not too bad at the moment. We're off. Big call the ball. Some festive lights. Costa Coffee, a minute away from opening. And it kind of looks really nice and Christmassy. Right, coffee and bacon. I'm in the festive King's Fee and there's a bit of a tinsel situation. Hello, you know. Anyway, this is a pint of some of that Branscombe Brewery 5% alcohol by volume. I ended up in a conversation with a deaf gentleman in Costa Coffee. From what I gather, he's had three heart attacks, he doesn't smoke or drink, um, but he had two large pieces of meat, uh, which were expensive, but he seemed to be off to eat. Although I saw him in Poundland, and why was I in Poundland? Festive lights. I'm going to decorate my room in the travel lodge tonight. Anyway, back to the some of that. 50p off voucher, the last for this year from camera. Flooring for Mr. Manning. It's a bit chilly in here, to be honest. Anyway, the plan is the barrels open at 11, so get there for five past five. Okay, creamy, strong. Now, be careful, it tastes lemony, but uh, have a pint of cranberry juice and lime. Well, a big chunk of lime and I've ate it, so I'm not really sure. It's quite malty. Gentle bit of finish. I'm going to say B plus and a bit. And me, we fix your iOS app, please. So the barrels opens at 11. It's now quarter past 10. Eight minutes to walk there, apparently. And there's a full time. Otter Claws. See Christmas names um, from the Otter Brody, 5% alcohol by volume. Looks nice. One ninety nine a pint. Can't beat that. Well, probably you can. Gaza would. Mm. Rich. Hint of chocolate. Slightly burnt notes. Uh, maybe a bit of coffee. Three plus in a bit. 3.3. And if Cody's watching, it's dark. Get open. Only four minutes late. <laughs> I'm drinking the, oh sorry, this is the Y Valley Breweries Tap. This is the Golden Ale, which apparently is becoming a occasional brew. 4.2% alcohol by volume, and it looks rather excellent. And I had a discussion with the barman about beer. And that's what you want. Ruin flooring, Mr. Manning. Mm. I think my nose is rubbished. Mm. I would say traditional. Nice malty base. Gentle but lingering bit of finish. B plus in a bit, 3.3. Nice one. So I'm completely impressed by this pub, so I've stayed for a little bit more. 
This is based on 4.2% alcohol by volume, a black IPA, and I know what you're going to say. Um, and a plum and sandwich. Luckily, I'm only allergic to zinc oxide. Did I say 5.2%? Mmm, that's hoppy. And it has that sort of porterish, multi bit notes, three plus in a bit, three point three, which is rather nice. DH unplugged. I'm drinking milk. This is super duper fly in a branded glass by Odyssey Gruco, 5% alcohol by volume. It's sunny, but it's cold. It smells like a fruit bomb. Tingly, fruity, spicy, B. Three point six. This will do. Going from home. It's beginning to feel a lot like Cologne. Cologne. Mmm. Fruity. Very fruity. B plus in a bit, below 3.4. This is the start. It's getting dark. There's a bit of light, but it's still dark. Anyway, Siren Eclipso, 4%. I think that's 4%. Yeah, it's 4%. Dry hop sour. Sour. Sour Friday? Okay. Mmm, smells fruity. Mmm. It's sour. Tart. Tart but sweet and sour. B plus plus. Three point seven. 